Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing. Let's go to the city, or Animal Crossing city folk of course, depending on where you are in the world. And our tree is growing! Oh wait! I don't know if enough time has passed to dig up our shovel yet, we're a bit early. Um, so we might have to wait. But we'll just water our red turnip again as we do. We don't want to miss this every day. But I'm going to do something we don't usually do and grab our mail first because we have a habit of leaving it till the last minute. So we're looking for items. There we go. Our villagers have messaged us back. Uh, we're still on the lookout, of course. I say it every day. Yellow items for our feng shui because um, we want to increase our money luck. So let's uh, let's take a look at the letters we've got. Filbert, Gigi, Octavian, and Freckles. Okay. Hopefully we've got some cool items here. Oh, I love this paper. Um, hey, Amori. Yippee. I got a present. I seriously love presents. Getting presents is a lot of fun, but choosing presents is super duper fun too. I hope you treasure it. If it's yellow or real life treasure, we will 100% treasure it. <laughs> It's a sleigh! <laughs> I don't know, mate. Is that a yellow item? I don't know. Let's have a look. Um, to Maury, I was so happy to get your letter that uh, and that present. I found just the right present to reward you with. So please take this, okay? I, was wond I wonder what you'll think. Gigi. So luckily, Gigi hasn't left yet. I don't know if we've managed to keep Gigi from moving or if telling her no the first time was enough. A playroom rug! We've already got the playroom rug. But that's okay, we can sell that. Whoa, this is a, this is an interesting paper. Maury, it's always good to get loot in the mail. It is. I haven't decided how to use your gift, but please accept this one in return. Make good use of it, okay? From Octavian. I find this is the best way to get items in the game is just fire a bunch of letters at um, villagers. Oh, bonsai, that's a green item. So that will be okay for the green part of feng shui. But I don't think green has too much to do with the money luck. Two more, your present made me all totally happy. This is like spooky weird, but I have a present for you too. Eek! I hope you like it from Freckles with a little star. I like it when they put little emotions or uh, <laughs> like emojis in there. Oh, there we go. Open this present from, who is it? Freckles, a lemon table. Oh, a lemon table! That's got to be yellow, hasn't it? Okay, let's go and put these in our house before we do anything else. Lemon table, if that's not yellow, then I give up on feng shui. I'm pretty sure it will be. Um, I've actually got the list here, so I'm just going through the list of yellow items now. And I actually can't see it on there. Interesting. So, lemon... Oh, it is there. Lemon table. There we go. So, a yellow item for the feng shui. Oh, perfect. So, we can put the yellow table here. Sorry about that. I was just checking the list on Nookopedia. So, we're going to place the ye yellow table. Or the lemon yellow table. Once we've got good money luck, uh, we, we could do a, a bit more rearranging, I think. Um, and we can, of course, go ahead and just, for the purpose of feng shui, drop the bonsai here as well. There we go. I don't know if we lose points for blocking a doorway. Hopefully not, but I don't know. Our room's still tiny, so we're. I think it's only one tile width at the moment. Um, but that's okay. Right, there we go. That's all we can do for our feng shui at the moment. I don't know if it's going to be enough to boost our money luck, but we'll, sh we'll try and get the money rock anyway. But today, we're just going to carry on with our chores, search for items, you know, the, the usual stuff. Um, and I think, I can't remember what we got. Yeah, we're a bit early to dig up our shovel. I think we need 24 hours. So we can't dig up our shovel yet, which is uh, unfortunate. This is our shovel. If I dig it up now, it probably won't be gold. So I think we should wait until tomorrow. Because I didn't think about that. It, we need it to be past 12 o'clock, I believe. Um, okay, let's go and check out what's in Nook and Go. One of my favourite things to do each day. Just check the stock of things. Um, just to see if there's any cool stuff here. Uh, welcome, please, can, uh, please, please browse all you like. We're a bit low on funds, actually. Before we do anything... Oh, look, a slingshot! Finally! No, we don't, we don't care for the fishing rod. I just wanted to grab the uh, points. 
Welcome to Nook Point Tracking System. We just want to get our visitor points. Bronze member Mori, please make your selection. Visitor points. There we go. You have earned plus three points for visiting. It's a bit annoying that we have to do that every day. But while we're here, let's grab this uh, slingshot. Ah, a slingshot only 500 bells. What do you say? Hmm? We'll take it. Uh, may I, I must ask Maury, uh, do you know how to use that slingshot? We've got a fairly good idea. So that should be okay. We need to buy the flowers. What have we got here? A bin, a, a traffic cone. Oh, a red cone. So we should probably buy this. Oh, it's orange. What? That looks red. Mm, we'll buy it anyway. Oh, I didn't see how much it was. There we go. Okay, so we've got a thousand of 600 bells. It's pretty, uh, pretty cheap. This looks, uh, red as well. A white gold bag! What is, what is happening? Okay, we'll leave that one. We haven't got enough for it anyway. But while we're in here, maybe we'll come back later to get some of those items. We've got a bit more money. But we'll buy the flowers while we're in here because we need so many flowers. I think the only way to protect the grass is to have like the entire town covered in flowers. <laughs> yes, a red cosmos bag. It costs 80 bells. Quite a bargain, yes? Will you buy it? I'll take it. Oh, while we're here, we must... Mustn't forget to check the turnip prices, must we? I totally forgot we bought turnips. Yes, yes, tell me what can can I do for you? Well, I didn't forget we bought turnips. I forget that we have to check the turnip prices. There we go. Currently, one turnip sells for 84 bells. Oh, we paid 110 bells. So, yeah, that's miles off. And we'll buy this sapling as well. Thanks, a sapling. It costs 60 bells. Just because our last town feedback was that it needs more greenery, which I thought we had quite a lot of trees around town, but apparently not. So we're gonna, until we get some more fruit, um, like apples and things like that, we're just gonna plant some more trees. Because why not? Let's go and check our trees over here, actually. Are they growing big and strong? Where's the ramp? There we go. Look at them. They're so cute. Um, maybe we should continue this. Um, oh yeah, actually, do you know what? We, we don't even have to dig, do we? We can just hopefully position the tree here. There we go. Whew, I was worried for a second it wasn't going to go in the right place. But that should still grow there. As long as a villager doesn't move in here. And we'll continue... Where should we put these flowers? We're, gonna, we're trying to preserve the grass. I've done it again, haven't I? I've totally walked off the path that we're trying to make. It's so hard to remember to keep to a an imaginary path. Because um, look at this, is this is devastating. It's literally all disappearing. So we're just going to keep planting um, flowers here. Until we decide what to do with it anyway. Plant there. Move that up there. What have we got? Orange cone that can go in our house. Although we haven't got much room. Uh, we really need to pay off our debt to get a bigger house. We're really struggling for storage in this game. Um, we, we have a bunch of stuff in here already, but we only have one lot of storage and it's not very big. Um, okay, we're going to have to move this. Now, I don't know if this orange cone is going to be coloured um, red, but just in case, we'll place it here. Um, okay, now, can we squeeze the... We desperately need to spend a day rearranging this. This is... There we go. Oh! Okay, I didn't expect it to go that way. I was expecting it to go long ways, but that, that works. Okay, let's head back out now. Uh, let's try for the money rock, and then maybe we can talk to some villagers. Um, and move on with our day. Check the beach again because our coconut tree shriveled up. Uh, so we'll head up to the top of the town first. Check our money rocks. Hey, Kusto. Hey, what's the haps, Maury? How's it going? You getting a centipede or what? Oh, my goodness. Kusto, we're working on it. I can't believe that these chores carry over. I had no idea. Where's our shovel? There it is. <laughs> okay, let's try for the money rock. Nope. Um, we'll have a look around town first to see if anyone's visiting. If not, we'll go and check with Booker as usual, just to see if anyone's been seen coming through the gates. I'm not actually sure how many rocks we've got in town. 
I can think of at least six, I think. So that was three. Wait. Aha, I knew I heard it. Our first bloom present. Wait, how do we do it? I missed. <laughs> hey. Okay, our first bloom present. I hope it's something good. Um, a block floor. Is that a Mario item? Block floor. Sounds like it would be the Mario item. I don't know if the Mario items are in this game. Okay, so this is the fourth rock. It sounds like we've got a notice on the notice board as well. Oh, we found the money rock. I wonder if our extra one eye. Oh no, we're too far away. No. Uh, I I was lazy and didn't dig two holes. We we might have been. Lucky there, but we weren't, because I was lazy. Uh, but at least we got some bells to play with. Oops. Um, there we go. Oh. Okay. Oh, and every time! I was literally about to turn and dig it up. <laughs> Uh, oh, that the face is so cute, the little angry face. And the flea market is this weekend. Come and join the fun. You might find that treasure you've been looking for. Ooh, the flea market on this coming weekend. So is that on a Saturday or a Sunday? Um, notice the fishing tourney you've all been waiting for is coming this Saturday. D uh, don't let the big one get away. So th Saturday, so the flea market must be on Sunday, I'm guessing, because I can't imagine they'd have two events on the same day. Oh, next weekend's going to be good. Um, also, I put my trash item here because I'm a bit reluctant to get rid of it. They're super rare, really. I know it's a pointless item, um, and I haven't got the heart to throw it in the recycling until I'm 100% it can't be used for anything. But I thought, to, because it's probably going to damage our town rating, leaving it here, because it's quite a cool item to see, like, laying around. I might go put it in the auction house in the city and just advertise it as a, a, as a random price, just to keep it in random storage, just in case we ever decide we need it. Maybe we do some sort of decoration with patterns and we were like, if only we had a boot! Um, we have one, because I think the, I think the drop rate's like 5% or something crazy, so they're actually really rare to come across. Okay, so... Four money rocks down, we found the money rocks, so let's head down to the beach now. I really want to see if there's another coconut. Stay in the middle of the ramp. Try and preserve the grass. I don't know what to do. We have got some designs. We've got a track, horizontal track from... Um, Wendell. But I'm not sure I want train tracks all over town, so I don't know whether to design one. Or to keep waiting for Wendell to see if we get some better designs. Because I know he has a, a bunch of cool and rare designs. Um, sorry, I've got an itchy nose. I've got a bit of a cold coming, as usual. <laughs> okay, let's get onto the beach so we don't ruin the grass. We may as well check for scallops while we're down here as well. Pearl oyster. I think that's probably one of the more expensive shells, maybe. Sand dollar. Nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah, we must have been so lucky to find three white scallops on the first day. We haven't seen them since. A white scallop! We'll take that one. If I can pick it up. There we go. Um, after we've got a bunch, we can probably not worry about finding them for a little while. Wow, there's quite a lot of fossils around, so there must be a few gyroids kicking them out. Uh, we are a bit early in the morning as well, so I don't know, maybe all of our villagers are still sleeping. That's not going to be one, is it? No. Ooh, it's quite a big fish. Should we try and catch the big fish? It might be a sea bass, though, is the only thing. Where did it go? Keep swimming away! No, 
naughty fish. Go on, take the bait. You'll live happily forever in a museum. There we go. Woo! I hope it's not a sea bass. Oh, wow! I caught a tuna! I only wish I'd caught it sooner! <laughs> Yay! A, a, a joke that actually works with my accent. <laughs> okay. Let's go talk to some villagers. Hopefully no one wants to buy our tuna, because I do not want to have to try and catch one of those again for a little while. That was super lucky. Hey, Apollo! Whose wind are you staring in today? Oh, it's you! I expected some annoying, uh, some annoying sap first thing this morning. Glad it was you! Uh, now that we've got a bus line and you can get to the city easier, I've seen a lot fewer of them. But this town still has need for the occasional travelling salesman. A carpet salesman here and a turnip seller there. Even a nomadic musician is nice once in a while. It's just nice to talk to someone who's got a fresh batch of stories from the outside world. You're not wrong, but who's about today? I don't see any traveling characters today. Yo, hey, Mori! You must be the morning type. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> On a good day, maybe. You look ready to shoulder tackle the day. So today, I was thinking some majorly deep thoughts and it caused an epic brain cramp. Now I'm out for a power walk. It's the only thing that'll uh, chill out my brain muscle. Rod, you need to relax. Okay, we're collecting uh, our scallops here for some reason. There we go. Right, we, we're not going to keep these, are we? Block floor. Oh, we want to check the block flooring, don't we? Uh, let's go inside and just have a just check if this is a Mario item because if it is a Mario item I don't think we can buy it anywhere uh, But I might be mistaken. Maybe it's a concrete block flooring or something like that um, But I, I'm sure there's some Nintendo items in this game. I'm not sure about the Mario stuff um, Actually, I know the Mario outfit is but I don't know about the thing the, uh, the Items. Oh, it is How weird we got the Mario block flooring from a balloon. Wait, is that how you get all the Mario items then? They come from the balloons. Okay, well, we probably should keep the block flooring because I'm pretty sure it's a, an item you can't buy again. Um, we're going to have to... Oh, there's so many we want to keep. Let's get rid of the backyard lawn. I was going to keep these for the upstairs, but... Ooh, yeah, it's so hard to know what items we're going to keep. We've got to keep on top of our storage, so we'll get rid of that one, yeah. That's okay. All right, let's head back out. Probably should sell these items or maybe send them to villagers. But I'm thinking we need to check the Able Sisters as well. We definitely want to get in a better habit of checking what's in the shop. Um, I was really looking forward to digging up the shovel today. But we haven't really got enough money to plant money trees anyway, so we might as well, we'll leave that to tomorrow. We'll, we'll definitely, that will be our focus tomorrow, is uh, planting some money trees, hopefully. But I think it's, it's, you have to increase your chances of growing money trees by planting more bells. So we need quite a lot of bells to work with. Okay, what have we got today? What are they, some swimming goggles? Bit early for Halloween costumes, isn't it? Yeah, nothing too good in here. Uh, Maury, is it? It is! Hey, what gift, sis? You almost never recall a customer's name. Don't say things you don't need to, Mabel. <laughs> Please feel free to take a look around. Don't mind us. See, if you're nice to people, they'll be nice to you. Uh, most of the time. But yes, um, yeah, just not too much exciting stuff in here today. Pretty boring, actually, so we'll leave those. I always wish we could buy, like, this. I think that's just material though, it's not... For years I thought it was wallpaper, but thinking about it, it's obviously material, isn't it? <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, uh, nothing too exciting in here. Let's head back to town. Thanks, you come back now. We should probably go and talk to Booker and see if anyone's around town. There might not be anyone, because I'm, I'm, I don't think there is someone every day. I kind of wish there was though. 
But either way, Booker will know if someone's here. Is there a good chance that we've just walked past them or haven't seen them? Hey, Booker. Oh, um, yeah, hi. So, what can I do? I can't. What can I do for you? What's new? Is anyone around? Oh, uh, I didn't notice anyone go through here. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll be more careful. Booker, you're letting us down. Okay, while we're here, let's check the lost and found. Oh, um, yeah. Hi, so what can I, uh, what can I do for you? Anything lost? Anything new? There were some pitfalls in here. Uh, lost and found. I mean, we definitely have three, I think. Okay, something new. Hamburger paper. Okay, we'll take some hamburger paper. Just so we can... We'll probably sell, uh, send these to villagers. Try and get some new items sent back to us. So you're going to take hamburger paper. It's fine. Not a problem, I think. There we go. Okay, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to do what I said. We're going to grab that boot. And we're going to take it to the auction house. Because we haven't used it yet. Um, I don't know if we can, if there's a set time, but we'll go and check anyway, and then we'll find out the times if it's not the right time. Um, so we'll go and grab the boot from the town hall. I just like to have things on hand in case you ever need them, so... And I think that's going to be a bit of a struggle in this game, because the storage seems even worse than the GameCube version. Because at least in the GameCube version, you can just keep dropping dresses and putting three items in. Because every dresser or wardrobe has its own storage, but in this game it looks like they all share the same storage. Octavian! Hey! Maury, where did you get that excellent tuna in your pocket? And can I have it? I'll give you a good deal, my new tartan rug for it. What do you say? No way! Oh, okay. No, don't worry about it. You have your reasons. Thanks for giving me a moment to dream. Oh, that's okay. You took it pretty well. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing these are brown flowers, so we're going to just water these here. Try and bring them back to life. There we go, have some water. Okay, let's head to town, check out this auction house in a bit more detail. Um, I seem to remember it saying something like auction was coming up, so I don't know if there's certain days or certain times. Uh, bus to the city! Want to take the bus? Yes, we'll go to the city um, real quick and check out the auction house. Love the bus. I absolutely love the bus. It's genius. A uh, really cool mechanic. I do miss the train though. Don't get me wrong. Hey, Captain, to the city, please. Thank you. Okay, we may... Oh, look! Phineas! Yay! He's probably one of my favourite special characters. No way! I didn't know Phineas could be in the city. So does that mean if we haven't got a special character in town, there might be one in the city? I love this music. Da, 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 da. <laughs> hey Phineas, hey! Why hello there, and what can I do for you this fine day, little boy? Uh, who are you? Who am I? Why, I'm Phineas, the prize man. Everyone should get a prize once in a while, don't you think? And that's where I come in. I've got fun things enough for everyone, and all I ask in return is a smile. Oh, Phineas, you're, you're... I love this little card thing. It's very generous. We want to get... Uh, why are you facing that way? Hey. <laughs> Why, hello there. Um, and what can I do for you this fine day? Give me something. Okay, settle down now. I'm sure I've got just the thing for you. Wait, do we... So we don't have to pay for these then. Do we get balloons? Um, now, don't be shy. Just tell me which prize you want. And it's yours. Balloon. Bunny balloon. Pinwheel. A bubble wand. Nothing, thanks. Wow, can we only pick one? I kind of want the bunny balloon. Ah, looking good for a bunny balloon. Can't say I blame you. Um, I'm a sucker for those cute little guys too. Let's see here. No wrong colour. Aha! Here you go, Sonny. I think you're confusing me with Mr. Rossetti. <laughs> uh, keep a tight grip on that balloon. Uh, rabbits have a way of getting away from you, you know. Oh, wait, can we lose the balloon? Oh, wow! The balloons, they're just such a cool little detail, aren't they? Okay, thumbnail time. Phineas, oh! Those are some loud bells. 
Um, okay, anyway, let's let's carry on doing what we were supposed to be doing going off to the auction house Oh, maybe we'll try Phineas one more time see if we can get another item, um, but I imagine it's only one per day mm, Yes, yes, welcome to the auction house my good man Sh uh, Shame and heartache, but we are currently preparing for the next auction The next display period will last for two days and begin on the 21st of January at 6 a.m. Oh, so we can't put anything down then Oh, we can't do anything. Mm, yes, and would this be Sir's first time in our fine establishment? Mm, yes, quite. The world of the auction is terribly interesting. Shall I inform Sir about it? Yes, please do tell. Ah, yes, hmm, I say, hmm, well then, this auction house is an establishment wherein people can freely buy and sell items. And such items accepted for sale are referred to as displays. Oh. Such items accepted for sale, which means there'll be some items we can't display, and I bet you trash is one of them. No! <laughs> Where are we going to keep our trash where it can be safe and not affect our feng shui scores or our town rating? Um, if sir wishes to procure said display item, sir, display it uh, simply has to bid upon it. However, this is a set amount of time that an item will be on display, so Sir must act quickly. Indeed, if Sir wishes to buy or sell items, he must always act within the appropriate time period. Does Sir need more detailed explanation of either activity? Displays. Mm, yes, quite. Well, if Sir wishes to display an item for sale, he needs only to speak to me. Simply inform me which item Sir wishes to display and what the reserve price will be. Oh, and the reserve price is the lowest price that will be accepted for the said display item. If, for example, Sir set the reserve at 50 bells, then we would accept nothing less than 50 bells. Now, if our bid is accepted and a purchase was ma uh, made, we shall transfer the money to the bank automatically, and if there are no bids on the item, it will be returned post haste by the local met. Oh, so we can't even use this as storage really, because then it gets sent back to you. And please note that there is a limit of one display per uh, item per customer. One display per customer? Why is there so many displays then? Um, in, for the entire display period. Mm, yes. Uh, that it. That. Uh, as <laughs> I say, that. Was there anything else, sir? No, nothing. Ah, yes, very well. Oh, and so you know, we have a check room where Sir can store his belongings safely in our care. Now, when Sir is ready to begin, simply come speak with me. A check room. Yes, mm, yes, how can I be of assistance this fine day? Oh, here we go. Display an item. What's a check room? Maury, here is your exclusive private check room. Oh, so it's just our storage. Well, we don't want to waste our own storage. Let's see if we can display it. Thanks upon thanks. Please feel free to come back and uh, use our service anytime. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, I just want to talk to you. Okay. Oh no, I did it again. <laughs> uh, sorry, I meant to press display. Thanks upon thanks. Or maybe it just means we can't display like critters and stuff. Display an item. A thousand lamentations, we cannot currently display any more items. Our next display period will last for two days and begin the 21st of January. Okay, so we can't display anything at the moment. Uh, that's a bit annoying. So I'm guessing, do some of the villagers display things as well? Because if we can only have four people in, in this town, right? So why is there so many displays? That is very strange. Okay, let's go and talk to Phineas again just to see if Phineas has anything else to say. Um, and we get to enjoy our balloon for another couple of minutes. <laughs> Whee! Okay, I, I imagine it's only once per day. Why, hello there! And what can I do for you this fine day, little boy? Oh, you can get more things. Give me something. You want another one? That seems a little greedy, don't you think? Really now, how would you feel if you came for a prize and some other boy had taken them all? Sorry to disappoint, but I have to make sure there are enough to go around. Oh, okay, that's fine. We didn't really want another one. I was just curious to see whether you could actually get uh, more than one. Okay, there we go. Pretty good episode, I would say. We did our chores. We, uh... We're pretty productive on that front. We, of course, got a balloon, a bunny balloon from Phineas, which is super cute. And we checked out the auction house in a bit more detail. We're going to have to remember on the 21st, which I think is towards the weekend, 
We'll come and see if we can just put our trash item there, but we, we, we might not be able to, but um, it'll probably get sent back to us anyway, so I thought that was going to be a little bit extra storage, but it sounds like it might not be. But anyway, we checked it out, and we got the money rock today as well, and we checked turnip prices, so pretty productive. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know your feedback, what you like, what you don't like, any of the games you'd like to see played alongside this, or whether you'd like double uploads, anything you would like to see on this channel or any feedback you have, please, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, of course, to the channel members for making this happen. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.